Avengers Lounge to be expanded. Newsflash, Monica. Newspapers are about to be old news. What the heck was that about? I don't know. Hey, Monica, I've got another headline for you. Extra, extra! Confirmed by world's leading scientists! Tracy's weird! <laughs> <laughs> That's not that funny. What are you doing? Quiet, class! Settle down! I said settle down! I'm getting anxiety. Some of you might have heard the good news. The school will be starting a TV news club. Phew. Let me finish! Let me finish! The first order of business will be choosing the news anchor. So, we're going to have a contest. Anyone interested will need to make a sample news report. Yes! I'm gonna ace this! Tracy looks a little more excited than usual. That's not a good sign. Mr. Foot, Miss Perla, we don't need a TV news show. We've already got the school newspaper. But television is the future, Monica. Really? I thought the internet was the future. <sighs> Monica, how about you join Owen and I on the selection jury? What? That's not Fine. what... Fine. At least this way, I can make sure we pick someone with a little journalistic credibility. Why would anyone want to waste time with the TV news club? Sounds like a bunch of extra cruddy work, if you ask me. Unfortunately, the anchor and his news team will have to skip class every week to shoot their report. Wait. Did he just say what I think he said? Skip class! Skip class! Skip class! Skip class! Skip, 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 skip class! Beep bitty! Breaking news! Tracy loses Anchorman contest to... Angelo. I found this one online. Parrot missing for years returns. Speaking Spanish. Uh, I don't think so. We need to do the kind of news story that will appeal to the jury. What about advanced chemistry? Oh, I got it! Boring art stuff. Uh, that's not it. I'm at a loss. Now that's it! I'm gonna say what? Everybody likes eating, right? <laughs> so, how about we do a bit on the school cafeteria? I'm here with Schmitty, the school's lunch guy. Lunch guy? Schmidtmeister's a highly trained culinary master in the school lunch arts. Right. So, Chef Schmitty, what is your latest dish? Watch and learn, little bro. And voila! Food for kids. Yeah, I often come here. I know the regulars. Actually, I am a regular. And they use locally sourced products from the local supermarket, I think. Uh, if you interview me, how can I, uh, photobomb myself? And next week, don't miss part two in our cafeteria report. Month-old leftovers. Urban legend or reality? Nice. And totally insincere like a real anchorman. Thanks, I think. Rule number one, if you want to be a real anchorman, speak in a deep voice. Like this. And rule number two, don't let them see you sweat. Rule number three, look at each and every camera at least once. Camera left, camera right, camera center, camera down, camera up! Hey, sure. How's the editing going? And done. Oh, wow. so amazing. Yep, I know. Dusting it off my shoulders. What? <laughs> Whoa, she put that together fast. Uh, your report's like amazing, Tracy. Uh-oh. I do not like the sound of that. A plague of unparalleled proportions has infected our school. Students suffering. Dramatic consequences. The culprit? Gum. Chewing gum, like, totally destroyed my favorite jeans. <laughs> it ruined my life! OMG! <laughs> this blight is forbidden at school, and yet... Yeah, man. I used to chew once or twice a week. Now, I go through two packs a day, rough on my jaw. Gum makes Mr. Boots' class taste like strawberry. Give me that! <laughs> Tracy's piece was actually pretty good. I hate to say it, but maybe we're just not cut out for the whole news thing. It'd be a shame, seeing as we've got a new story that's gonna blow everyone's mind. Hello, I am 
Say your name, and here is the latest news. Oh, Minetti, you need to say your name. Your name? No! Your name is Minetti. Who? Oh. What? Say hello, I am Minetti. Ah, someone's talking in my ear. Oh. Get it out, get it out. Oh. 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 Maybe I should have partnered with Tracy in the first place. Next strategy, the big scoop, bigger than Tracy's. For the record, I think this is a bad idea. Dude, it's our journalistic duty to find out what really goes on in the teacher's lounge. Since when? Five minutes ago. <laughs> and now, for the big scoop. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hmm, raspberry tea? No, no, green tea. Hmm, raspberry? <laughs> Oh, oh, itchy, itchy. This is almost as exciting as that channel where you can watch paint dry. Mm. Don't worry, guys. It'll come. Oh, this is good stuff, man. We've got our scoop! Ah! Huh? Ah! What are you doing What's in here? What's going on here? What did you two just trade? Something illegal? Students confiscated cell phones? Stolen ketchup packets from the cafeteria? Collector cards of famous croquet players? Ha <laughs> ha! Smile! You just got Angelo! No, no, that one's mine. Well, you already have two of him. Hmm. Hard hitting news stories. Hmm. I'm all out of ideas. Oh, what's up, losers? My beast is going to win this thing, hands down. Think of all the power I'll wield as Anchor Woman. I'll put a stop to illegal chewing gum once and for all. Hey! That was just in my mouth! Oh, and just think of all the changes I'll be able to make. Outlaw chatting in the hallways, school uniforms, GPS tracking bracelets. Oh! <laughs> She's cray-cray! We cannot let Tracy win this contest! Then we need to make the best news report ever! <laughs> That's it! We've been trying to come up with something hard-hitting like Tracy, but maybe we should zig where she zags. Hey, Joe Mama. It's okay. Just think of catnip and warm milk. It's all gonna be good. So much bad news out there. People love feel-good news stories. And besides, Monica and Perla have a soft spot for cats. Next week, tune in for a report on lockers. Are they necessary? And if students carry their books everywhere, then we could do away with gym class. And now for a feel-good news report. Everyone has been talking about Joe Mama, the crazy cat that has been creating a crazy buzz online. Crazy. And we have an exclusive interview with the star feline herself. Joe Mama, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. What does it feel like to be a role model for your fans? Do you prefer nicer cat food these days? Has the instant fame gone to your head? Wow, such humility. All right, I think we've seen enough. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Come on, come on, come on. We were very impressed with Tracy's gum trafficking investigation. But Angelo's report was just the sort of light news I think this world could use. I'm picking neither of them. Angelo and Tracy did not respect the code of journalistic ethics. I documented all of it. Tracy bribed kids so they'd say what she wanted them to. And the scene where they exchanged chewing gum? It was staged. Tracy, how could you? What's the big deal? Real journalists probably do it all the time. And Angelo's was just as bad. I analyzed his images. He used special effects. So, it wasn't real? It was a real cat. Angelo and Tracy, you are both disqualified. Ugh. I never wanted to be in your stupid TV news club anyway. So, who's going to be the anchor? This DVD, I, I mean, I am. All right, Minetti. Let's see what it looks like. 
Whoa, 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 whoa! Whose name? Your name! Your name? Your name! Whose name? My name! Your name! No! No, 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 no! Aw, I never win at anything. Oh, I have an idea! Why don't all of you team up to make the news? And Monica can be the anchor. Hmm, I guess that could work. Beep, 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 beep. Breaking news! Angelo gets to skip class.